Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the finding inverse of a matrix that how we can find the inverse of a particular matrix. So for example, I am having here a matrix with elements A, B, C, D and if I have to find out the A inverse of this particular matrix, there is a formula. So for finding the A inverse, we have to find adjo adjoint of A and the determinant of A. So the A inverse is going to be 1 upon uh, determinant of A. So what will be the determinant of this particular matrix? The determinant will be AD minus BC. It will be AD minus BC. Now second thing which comes is adjoint. So how to find out the adjoint of a particular matrix? For adjoint, these these two elements will be swept interchanged with each other so the diagonal element is going to be interchanged so here it will be d and here it will be a and these two elements will be changed and the sign will be placed as a negative so it will be sorry these these will not be changed the sign of these two will be changed so this will be minus t and minus b so this way you can find the adjoint but there is a trick so i am going to share a trick to find the determinant as well as the uh, adjoint so for example we have another question with these much elements so first of all what we have to find out is we have to find out the determinant and then we have to find out the adjoint So, for finding out the determinant, firstly write down the same matrix. This is a small trick that I am uh, explaining you right now. So, using this particular trick, it will be easier to find out the determinant as well as the adjoint of A. So, <coughs> I write down these three matrices as well as it is. So, now what I have to do is, I have to write down these two columns once again so this is the this is the column one this is the column two so i'm going to write down these columns and the very next place one two one so now for finding out the determinant what i have to do is i have to multiply this one this one and this one so let me find out the determinant first so if i multiply these three it will be zero because zero is in the place plus if i multiply these three it will be nine one three is a three and three is a nine if i multiply all these three it will give me two and now i have to multiply in a opposite direction like this one this one and this one so these will be placed with a negative sign so it will be negative uh, 12 0 and it will be 1 so the determinant is going to be minus 2 so this way you can find out the determinant for any of the matrix it will be an easier way and for finding out the adjoint you have to place the two columns then we have to place the two rows as it is so i am now placing the two rows 0 1 2 0 1 and 1 2 3 1 2 i am separating the first row and the first column so now what i have to do is <coughs> i have to take this particular minor and using this minor uh, I have to uh, create another matrix. So, what will be the inverse? So, if I, if I talk about the inverse, inverse will be 1 upon its negative 2 and then there will be a adjoint. So, find out the determinant of this particular stuff. It will be 2 
minus 3 so it will be minus 1 next we will take the second minor but after solving this particular minor we have to place it over here so we have to solve horizontally and write vertically so it will be 3 3 is a 9 minus 1 it will be 8 now I am going to take this one it will be 1 minus 6 minus 5 then take this one it will be 2 minus 1 1 similarly for this one this will be minus 6 for this one this will be 3 uh, this will be minus 1 then 2 and then it's one. so same goes on process so what we have to do we have to solve horizontally and write vertically so what is the inverse this is the inverse of this particular matrix so similarly for second as well we have to find out the determinant and adjoint of a so let's uh, write down this particular matrix as it is so it will be 1 2 2 2 1 2 2 2 1 and i'm copying these two uh, columns 1 2 2 2 1 2 so firstly i have to find out the determinant so it will be multiply this one okay, we will go plus this one plus 8 this one plus 8 negative this one will be 4 4 4 this one will be 4 this one will be 4 so the matrix is going the determinant is going to be 5 so now copies these two rows as it is so it will be 1 2 2 1 2 2 1 2 2 1 separate the first row and first column solve it like this and so what it will be it will be a inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant is 5 and we have to place the matrix so it will be 1 minus 4 minus 3 4 minus 2 will be 2 4 minus 2 will be 2 come to this one this will be 2 this will be 3 and this will be 2 this will be 2 as well this will be 2 as well and this will be minus 3 so this way you can find out the determinant <coughs> of this particular matrix so let's move to the third question that we have the third question also we will follow the same processor firstly we will find out the delta then we will find out the adjoint of a so first of all what we are going to do is uh, let me copy these uh, elements as it is it will be 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 so I am copying the two rows sorry two columns so it will be cos theta sin theta 0 minus sin theta cos theta and 0 so what I have to do is I have to multiply this one this one and this one for finding out the determinant so the determinant will be going to cos square theta this will be 0 this will be 0 now I have to multiply this one this one and this one so it will be 0 this will also going to be 0 and this is going to be sine to sine with a negative sign so it will be plus sine square theta which is nothing but 1 as cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1 so now come to the adjoint of a for that i have to copy this particular row cos theta minus sine theta 0 cos theta minus sine theta next one is sin theta cos theta 0 sin theta and cos theta separating this one uh, taking the first minor so inverse is going to be 1 upon 1 which is nothing but 1 so this will be cos theta this will be uh, this will be minus sin theta this will be 0 this will be 
plus sin theta this will be cos theta this will be 0 sorry I forgot about this this will be 0 this will be 0 as well and this will be cos square theta plus sin square theta which is 1 so this way you can find out the matrix so in the very next video we are going to learn about the rank of a matrix if you are liking this video if, if these will, videos are helpful to you uh, like them subscribe the channel and share it with your friends as well thank you